you have a message for your fans right now, Mr. Depp? I'm scared to death. <laughs> I'm frightened and I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. What happened to your finger? My finger? I bruised it very badly. I ate it, I bit it off. I'm starving. I was, I was starving, I bit my finger. I ate it. The tip of it. Just a little. Mm. Nail wasn't good. And, and and deal with the insanity of having had my finger chopped off by, by this woman that I was married to. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, hit punch you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Dude, you're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are such fights. A baby. Because Grow you. The fuck up, because you start physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because to get the fuck out. Hello, guys. How are you guys today? I hope you guys are all having an amazing day so far. My name is Shanda, and welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video off like I do every other video and say thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you don't enjoy it, I hope you at least give it a chance. But if you are returning to my channel, thank you guys so much for returning to my channel. I really, really appreciate it and it really does mean a lot to me. I also want to let you guys know that um, if you guys could possibly give this video a thumbs up or comment or anything like that to help push this video through the YouTube algorithm, I will be so, so grateful. Um, this is some important news. I think everything um, about this case is important, but it does really, really help the video if you guys like it or comment or anything like that, and I would appreciate it so much. <laughs> it does look like um, Fantastic, Beasts, or Fantastic Beasts 3 is doing pretty bad. Um, it looks they're in post production right now, and it looks like they're just very, very worried. They think that the movie is not doing good. They can't scrap it because, I mean, they've already <laughs> done everything, but they're very worried, and they think that they're just gonna give it to HBO Max or something because uh, they don't think it's gonna do very well at all. And um, I heard a lot of people saying, "Well, that's you know, that's instant karma, you know, karma, karma." But also, Fantastic Beasts um, and Aquaman are both Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers got rid of because of, sorry, JD. Warner Brothers got rid of JD because of the allegations before they were even, like, proven or anything in court. But with all of this information coming out every single day, AH is being proven to be the aggressor, um, the and the liar and she is still in Aquaman 2 and there the the petition has over 2 million signatures on it everybody is very upset I don't know why Warner Brothers is not keeping the same energy with JD and AH keep the same energy I don't know what is going on through their mind a lot of people seem to think that it has a lot to do with the rocket man and they seem to think that the rocket man i mean he is one of the most richest person people in the world he has a lot of pull a lot of power and him and ah are pretty close they dated they're still friendly and a lot of people seem to think that he might have something to do with it that he um picked up the phone made a phone call a donation something to keep her in this film. I'm not sure about all that. I don't know. I have no idea why they're not getting rid of her. Um, but a lot of people are upset and now there's a hashtag uh, boycott Aquaman 2 and a lot of people are saying that they're not going to watch it. Um, 
and because of AH. Now, I was thinking about this and I was like, if I was just the regular consumer and I wasn't too big into Aquaman or anything like that, um, I think I would be more apt to watch it if AH wasn't in it. Even if I had nothing about this case, I, know, I knew nothing about this case, I would think that I would be more apt to watch it because I would be interested in seeing how someone else would do playing the character of Mira. Or I think I would be interested in seeing how the film would do and what they would do with it if they wrote her out for a little bit. So it, I would be more interested in seeing how it would do and what they would come up with um, if they wrote the character out for a little bit or if somebody else played her. It would be more interesting, like, as someone who, you know, if I didn't know anything about the case, I think. But knowing everything that I know, of course I'm not going to watch the movie. But besides Fantastic Beasts 3, besides um, Aquaman, I want to um, let you guys know that there is a new declaration that just came out um, on the court, um, in the court documents, and I want to give a thank you to um, that umbrella guy. He gets all of the juicy information. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, please go do so. He's an awesome YouTuber. He is. He keeps up with this religiously and I want to thank him for this information but um, there is a declaration and it is from a man named Vince Jolivet Joel, Joel and this guy is important because he is uh, Whitney's ex-boyfriend so AH's sister's ex-boyfriend and this guy gave a declaration and he says let me read it to you guys he says, I hereby declare under the penalty of perjury that the following is based on my personal knowledge and is true and correct. Number one, I am a producer of films such as The Sound and the Fury in dubious, 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 in dubious battle and Child of God. These were three of hundreds of films that I and a staff of many people tirelessly made for James Franco at Rabbit Bandini Productions. We have all since thankfully moved on. Now I think he says that because he knows everything that's going on between James Franco, like with James Franco right now, all of the horrible like allegations against him. And if you guys um, want me to dive deep in that and make a whole video about James Franco and everything he is going through, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do a video on that if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, but this guy also worked on and produced uh, the Adderall Diaries, and the Adderall Diaries is with James Franco and A.H., and I'm pretty sure that's where they linked um, and, like, linked up or whatever. Um, and there is elevator footage that we've all seen of A.H. and James Franco going up and down, up and down. Um, anyway, we can get into that later. Uh, number two, in 2016, we shared offices with the charity The Art of Elysium at the time Whitney was working there. Now, The Art of Elysium, as we all know, is um, ran by Jennifer Howe, and Jennifer Howe is the chosen sister of um, Whitney. They're best friends, or they were best friends. Number three, Whitney and I became friends and then dated in the summer of 2017. She was an extremely hard worker, smart, easy to talk, and nice. Number four, during a conversation we had in the spring of 2016, I asked Whitney why she had moved in with Jennifer Howe, the founder of the Art of Elysium, and who lived two floors above my office. She relayed to me a story about having to stop her sister, A.H., from uh, DVing J.D. And in the process, how A.H. almost knocked her down a flight of stairs. Hmm. You guys all remember that, right? When A.H. gave her, like, a deposition, um, her divorce, she said, like, they asked her if she had ever... Uh, committed DV against JD and she said the only time she had ever hit him was when he had tried to throw her sister down a flight of stairs and she 
didn't know what she did, but it was in defense of her sister. Almost getting thrown down a flight of stairs. Oh, I tell her down a flight of stairs! And she said she does not deserve this. Remember this clip? He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did. But I know I jumped in between the actions that I saw could lead to a fatal injury to my sister. She was standing on the top of a flight of the stairs and she has never hurt anyone in her life and she does not deserve to be pushed down the flight of stairs. And it looked like she was about to be. And I would have done what anybody who has a child or a sister would have done. I acted defensively in her life. I saw her standing on top of a flight of his stairs and trying to interrupt a fight in between him and I. I don't know what part of my body I, I put in between me and him and, and her. But I would have done anything. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed on a flight of stairs. So yeah, that was her story and it was a lie. What do you know? So this guy says that um, Whitney told him that A.H. was DVing J.D. and in the process A.H. almost knocked her down the flight of stairs. Not J.D. This is what Whitney said when she testified about this situation. She said, he came up the stairs from the kitchen to the mezzanine level. I was on top of the stairs at the mezzanine level. Is that right? Mezzanine? I don't know. Mezzanine. And I stood with my back to the stairs facing A.H., but between them. I remember being worried that I was near the edge of the top of the stairs. When he got to the top of the stairs, he was pulling me backwards so he could get to A.H. So Whitney is saying that she was at the top of the stairs, J.D. came running up, and he was pulling her backwards trying to get to A.H. I remember being scared because I was worried that I would fall backwards and fall down the stairs. JD reached out to shove me out of the way to lunge at, at AH, reaching out to try and hit AH, and instead struck me, hitting me in the arm. AH suddenly lurched forward and hit him and said, don't hit my sister. I didn't see exactly how A.H. hit him, but it didn't seem especially hard. It was enough for him to lose. We don't have the rest of it. That is what she said when she testified. It's not good. So this, um, her ex-boyfriend tells a completely different tale. So, I don't know guys. It looks like... They might be in a little bit of trouble here. And this is a picture of Vince. And in the middle there, that is Jennifer Howe, the founder of the Art of Elysium, who is also uh, Whitney's ex-best friend. And they are with James Franco. And this is probably during the Adderall Diaries, I'm guessing. But that is like a bombshell. That is amazing information. And let me tell you guys why I feel like that. I feel like that because this man, Vince, Vince, I'm going to call him Vince, I, I don't want to butcher his last name, but this man, he was never brought up before. He wasn't brought up by JD, um, he wasn't brought up by AH, by Whitney, so this guy could have just sat back and kept his mouth shut. And I mean, especially with all of the threats that like Jennifer Howe was getting because of her coming forward and everything like that especially because of that it's amazing that this guy came forward because it's just the right thing to do he probably didn't want to sit back and see something like this happen and I, I applaud him very much for that I applaud him very much for coming forward when he didn't have to and telling his story about what he was told by Whitney herself. So that is amazing and that is bombshell information you guys. That's going to be in the new trial. So that's just another thing, another lie. But on top of that, the very last thing that I want to show you guys is a text message that we had gotten um, 
from a guy named Brandon. Now this guy Brandon is a close personal friend of AH and his text right here is showing that her friends, her close little knit friends of her in, inner circle are cracking. It really seems like they are cracking, they're busting at the seams a little bit because they are all being subpoenaed and they have to give their um, give all of their communications with AH. They are going to have to testify probably, give their depositions, and they are knowing now that they can possibly get in trouble. So, but this guy says, hey guys, it's Brandon here, AH's friend. I know, scary. <laughs> That's funny right there. Like, so it's like, he's got to be talking to someone who is not in their inner circle. Someone on the opposing side, maybe? But he's saying, I know, scary. Like, I shouldn't be her friend, but I am. Any chance of dropping this now? This is his words, and he says, G-A-Y-S-H-I-T. So, any chance of dropping this? And the next is um, his phone number, which, of course, was redacted. And he also said, thanks, she has no idea I'm sending this, which I think is crap, but she, she probably got him to send this text and ask if there's any way they could drop this stuff, which I find this appalling, by the way, like, who, seriously, let's not, let's not forget that it is it just happens to be Pride Month this month, and AH was supposed to be a member of the LGBTQ community, and I find it funny that this guy uses this this term, and it's it's appalling. It grosses me out, and it's ridiculous and disgusting. And he shouldn't. I mean, he's gonna. People are gonna talk the way they want to talk, but why would you say speak this way if you're trying to? sound professional and like any chance of dropping this why would you call it that like I don't know I don't know but anyway you guys that is all um, the updates I have for you today I am really excited to hear this information it really seems like discovery is happening um, her friends are cracking busting at the seams they're getting scared and also the new deposition by this guy oh and this Brandon guy, this Brandon guy, he has also been subpoenaed not just for his communications to give them stuff, but he has to actually go in and give a deposition. So he's probably scared. That is all I have for you guys on this subject today on this little update video right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and um, leave a comment below to help push it through the algorithm. I know um, I don't want to keep asking. I hate asking that, but... Um, it really, it really, really helps, and I would really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you guys so much, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video, and until next time, you guys, please, please, if you can be anything in this world, just please be kind to each other. Bye, guys.